My name is Annie Shara. I am a Care Patrol representative. I'm a CSA. I'm also a notary public, a traveling notary public, and I service the uh, Downey, Cerritos, Long Beach area. Having had um, family members in the past uh, deal with dementia and caregiving, I just saw there was such a need uh, to really uh, handhold and help people, which I love to do. Uh, but specifically seniors, I think they get overlooked. Um, and I just saw how much um, the caregivers were getting burned out, my family members, and then being there to help them make the decision of placing somewhere. Now I get to guide them. So I um, have gone out in my area. I have toured countless communities, boarding cares. I've gone in, I've looked at them, I've taken pictures, I've met the owners, I've met the caregivers, and I've really found some wonderful places. And I just want to take the ease out of it for the families that are out there that are looking. I think for me, I have a great deal of empathy when it comes to working with people. I know everyone has a story, everyone has a situation, and I like to listen and help. I hear what their needs are. I find out uh, what the client wants and also what's best for them safety-wise um, and budget-wise. Okay. For me, I want to be the most trusted source for seniors in my community. I grew up in Downey um, and my area is Downey as well. And for me, I just know helping my actual community where I was born and raised gives me so much more and the surrounding areas for that matter. I want to be able to cater to uh, the Latino community. I do speak Spanish fluently and I also feel that that also gets overlooked. What that means to me is being a resource for the seniors in my community. Also giving back to the Latino population. I do speak Spanish fluently and I want to utilize that uh, in my community. I feel like there's a huge need for it. I want to hear what the needs are for each client. Each client has their own personal needs. So it's a case by case. There's wonderful boarding cares where you get more of an intimate setting or there's the larger assisted living communities that are absolutely beautiful and you feel like you're at a resort. So it really depends on the needs of the client and their budget.